I'm John Florida, Vice President for Government Relations of the American Chiropractic Association. Standing here with our good friend and colleague, Rick Miller. As you can see, we're on Capitol Hill today. And Rick, I just want to let's talk a little bit about uh, some news that uh, we just found out about uh, just uh, about a couple of weeks ago uh, regarding the exchanges as they relate to the new health care law and also the essential benefits package as well. We learned uh, sure. that HHS is going to be expediting uh, the proposed rule for that. They say sometime this spring, may not be until June that we see something like that. But I think they're doing this because the states are a asking for yes. guidance, further guidance on this, and the HHS is reacting. Let's talk a little you're, bit about that. Well, you're absolutely right, John. Uh, this whole business of setting up these new marketplaces, these exchanges, uh, have got a lot of people in a snarl out there in the states, and they need more guidance, and they're asking, you're exactly right, they're asking for the department, look, you've got to come out with some more concrete rules here on how we're going to do this. So they are trying to accelerate the process, and that means some of these big challenging issues about what's going to be covered in terms of benefits and, and uh, how our non-discrimination provision might uh, apply and work in those circumstances, those issues are going to come at us, I think, a little more quickly uh, than uh, perhaps originally anticipated. And that really means uh, our people have got to get more organized and more involved, especially at the state level, watching those developments play out. Very good point. And uh, we've been meeting with uh, our folks up Absolutely. here on Capitol Hill trying to get some sense of, of what may be in this proposed rule. I'm hearing that, that nobody knows right now. It's, it's still very murky and still up in the air. I think it's very fluid. Now, we've gone to our top people. We've gone to our key supporters. They know what we want. Mm -hmm. They know what our interests are. And we're, we're counting on a lot of help from them so that at the end of the day, these regulations are written in a favorable manner. But there's no guarantee. You don't know until you see it in print. And there are a lot of forces out there working candidly that don't see the situation the way we do and would like to see rules written in a different way than we would prefer. Well, of course, we'll stay on top of this Absolutely. during the whole process. Uh, big issue up here on Capitol Hill, and, and it's been since pretty much day one of the, of the 112th Congress, is the, is the budget. Let's we'll talk a little bit about that. It looks like a government shutdown is looking more and more likely as we head into next week. You know, the actress Betty Davis famously said in a movie that line, fasten your belts, it's going to be a bumpy ride. I think we're in for a bumpy ride here. There are three big looming budget battles. There's the battle over this year's fiscal budget. Mm -hmm. Now, the fiscal year started way back October last one. October. We're yeah. halfway through the fiscal year, mm -hmm. and the Congress still hasn't adopted a budget. It's been functioning by a short-term series of measures called continuing resolutions. It's coming down to the wire whether we're going to have another short-term extension of a continuing resolution or they'll finally adopt a budget, we don't know. It could result in a shutdown. But that's not the only budget battle. You've got then, right on top of this, the budget for next year, yep. the next fiscal year. They've got to uh, uh, work and make some progress there. Plus, perhaps most explosive is all the vote to raise the debt, debt limit, yep. the yep. debt ceiling, and that is a toxic vote for many Republicans, and who knows what's going to happen there. And, and all of what you've talked about is pretty much snarled any other action on any other issues up here on Capitol Hill. That's but, all that they're talking about. But I think it provides us with an opportunity, and you and I have talked about it, while there's so much big, broad focus and attention on the budget, it's an opportunity for us to get in and meet with members of Congress, do some lobbying out there at the grassroots level to build momentum for some key chiropractic-specific legislative initiatives such that when the log jam breaks, and it will break eventually, I think, we can see some movement on some of our targeted issues. So there is an opportunity here for us while these other things are snarled up. Speaking of opportunities, those of, uh, of you watching us on your computer right now uh, can help us along with Absolutely. some of these other bills that we've got in play on, on veterans expansion, TRICARE, which is the Department of Defense Health Care Delivery right. System expansion there, getting doctors and chiropractic commission in the Public Health Service Corps 
that is very, very big uh, issue as well. And in, in all of these, um, uh, are, are in, and also we've got the uh, the frontline bill, the uh, the loan sure. relief uh, for sure. uh, doctors and chiropractic serving in medically underserved areas. What folks can do, they can they can uh, contact their member of Congress and ask them to co-sponsor these bills. Co-sponsoring gives us a greater likelihood of success going forward. Absolutely. And look, these pieces of legislation we're talking about, and there's information on our uh, webpage all about these uh, issues, they're not only pocketbook issues, but they help, importantly, confer, uh, confer more and additional cultural authority onto the chiropractic profession. It's a validation of the importance and value of chiropractic every time we're able to advance one of these initiatives, even if we do so in stages. So it has long-term value for the profession as a whole. And you can contact your member of Congress through a couple of mouse clicks. Just go to acatoday.org slash advocacy. You'll see the Legislative Action Center right there on that page. Go to that, just add, and you'll see all of that on, on, that, uh, on the uh, Legislative Absolutely. Action Center page, and then you can contact your member of Congress that way. Rick, my friend, we've got the final four this weekend. Who's your pick? I'm going to put you on the spot. Well, well my two teams, I wanted to be there, uh, Duke and Carolina. They went down a while back. Uh, I guess I'm going to go for Butler. Well, I'm going VCU, and uh, we'll uh, next time we meet, we'll know the winner. You become Thank a you. patriot for here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. <laughs> That's right. Thank you.